South Africa's retired judge, Johan Krigler, has said that the last general election in Kenya hit a new high by becoming not only the most expensive, but also the most complex election in the world. Krigler, who spoke at the ongoing Law Society of Kenya colloquium on the 2017 presidential election petitions, also expressed concern that Kenya has deeply turned the electoral process into a purely judicial process, turning politics into litigation. Let's listen in. And it is therefore, as has been observed in the message from the Chief Justice, it's a matter concerning electoral justice, electoral dispute resolution. And allow me to spend a minute or two just talking about this particular branch of our professional expertise. It's a very specialized field that has developed over the last quarter of a century or so uh, in the upsurge of representative democracy, what Professor Huntington calls the third wave of democratization uh, that saw the emergence of the new democracies, some of them in quotation marks, after the fall of the Soviet Empire in Eastern Europe and further east, the emergence of electoral systems in uh, parts of the Islamic world, Middle East and further to the east, the revitalization of democracy in Latin America and in our continent as first post-colonial enthusiasm had flagged and democracies become a little tired. There's been a new wave in your country, in Ghana, in Nigeria, in my country, most startlingly, of course, of all. So this concept of, of uh, elections as the fundamental basis of the power to govern the country has been given a, 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 a boost, a tremendous boost universally. And with it has grown an, a, an understanding that as these elections have become more widespread, as these elections have become more varied in different jurisdictions and cultures and countries, a body of rules, of principles, of practices has developed under the general rubric of electoral dispute resolution. It's a technically difficult branch of the law for a simple reason. The law itself is complex. Public law is complex. Constitutional law is infinitely complex. It speaks in broad sweeps, but it's when you start looking at the detail that the difficulties start arising and the areas of potential dispute multiply. And then elections are infinitely complex. And I make a confession to you. I speak to you today with one foot in the legal camp, but probably my right foot in the electoral management camp. I have been an electoral management manager myself on many occasions over the last 20 years or more. I have evaluated elections, I have advised on elections, I have adjudicated in elections uh, in, in dozens of places around the world. And I can assure you that by and large, lawyers do not appreciate exactly how complex elections are. They are instituted by law, yes. They are governed by law, yes. They are confined and directed and controlled by law, yes. But elections are not legal processes. Elections are political processes. Elections are about power. They are about control of countries or regions, major conglomerations of different people. Elections are infused by politics, polluted, if you like, by politics. 
and the law applying to elections likewise must take cognizance of this unique nature of elections and electoral law. The law is concerned with wisdom, the law that you and I normally practice. Elections are concerned with power. The law is governed by, principled by deliberation. Elections are driven by the need for speed. The law generally seeks principle on which to build, precedent on which to build. Elections are innately pragmatic and ad hoc. No two elections are identical. The 2007 election and the 2013 election and the 2017 election in this country differed fundamentally, although it's the same country. The last two